Well, last week we talked a lot about growing pressure on China to be more open about what's happened with the virus, and that pressure has continued today. Uh, let's bring in Ros Atkins to look at this for us. Hi, Ros. Hi, Lewis. Thanks very much. Yes, last week on Outside Source we talked about the fact the Trump administration was repeatedly calling on China to come clean, in Donald Trump's words. Emmanuel Macron, too, said there's a lot that we don't know about what happened in Wuhan, where the outbreak began. Well, today Angela Merkel also called for more transparency from China. Here she is earlier in Berlin. I believe the more transparent China is about the origin of the virus, the better it is for everyone in the world in order to learn from it. Now, these comments came at around the same time as China's National Health Commission was indicating that hundreds of people in Wuhan were wrongly listed as having recovered from COVID-19. Bear in mind, in Wuhan, the number of recovered cases was reported at 47,300 on Friday. On Monday, that figure was revised down by almost 1,000 to close to 46,500. More astonishing was the government in Wuhan's decision on Friday to revise the city's overall death toll upwards by 50%. The total number of confirmed deaths across China now currently stands at more than 4,500, though those statistics are impossible to verify. Let's hear from Kerry Allen from BBC Monitoring on all these shifts in the numbers. One of the things that we're seeing today coming out of the official statistics given by the National Health Commission in China is the number of cured cases, and China's been giving daily statistics on this, the number of confirmed cases, suspected cases, the number of deaths, the number of cured patients. Um, we're suddenly seeing this figure of cured patients drop significantly. And uh, so around, previously it was around the, um, well, for the central city of Wuhan, it was around the 47,000 mark, 47,000 people having been cured. And this dropped by nearly 1,000, by 941 people. Now this was very quietly done and the government didn't make a lot of fanfare about this. But what we do know, going back to last Friday, is that the government said that around 1,200 people had died that it had not reported at the time. Now, it said that there were a number of reasons for this. It said that one of the reasons was that some people had died in their homes. Um, they also said that there were some centres where people were being treated for COVID-19 that weren't attached to the central network. So people were being treated, but you know, the figures were not being passed on to the central government so they could report them in their daily statistics. Um, and also they said there were some errors in factual reporting problems. Um, but, you know, it's very significant today that the government has very quietly, I mean, this 1,200 death count, you know, around 900 people potentially uh, were reported as cured, even though they died. And that's very, very significant. And there's not a lot of noise being made about this in the media whatsoever. But China does actively censor content on social media anyway. And one of the things that's very common uh, when something like this happens is you'll see people what are known as the 50 cent brigade in china so people who will leave pro-government messages in line with the government's message talking about how it's good that the government's giving a lot of transparency so you'll see comments more on that line rather than the fact that yeah around 900 people might have been reported as as having been cured who actually died